this. I was worried about rattlesnakes. Queen Marie Antoinette. A little slice of French Revolutionary history right here. I'm the little town of Lewiston, and it's so adorable. Every time I come through here, I think I definitely need to plan an overnight somehow. I don't know. It's such an odd place for me to stop time-wise when I'm on my trips back and forth to my folks in New York, but it's so cute. I'm probably sick of hearing me say that. <laughs> I say that about every town. It's so cute. I want to stay here. I mean, look at this historic old place right here on the left. Look at this. All the row houses. I just saw a pony mural. <laughs> Dirt pony. Did you see the pony? Train trestle. I do here is I take a left on the 405 because it's really pleasant except for the fact that you have to go through there's a town up there you have to go through and there's a lot of stop and go traffic and on my Ducati it doesn't like that it gets hot so today I also want to make up some extra time by I'm actually going to jump on an interstate of all things here shortly. And you're going to see why in just a little while. Because there's a place I want to visit that I absolutely love to go to. And in order to squeeze it in today, I need to make up some time. So we'll check in later. Canyon Vista, World's End State Park, one of my favorite places in the whole world. And back down there behind me is the Overlook. And you're definitely coming down there to look at that. But um, I'm coming to the Rock Garden. So the Rock Garden <laughs> are ginormous rocks ginormous um, and I love coming up here and it's quiet and there are some hikers up here and people do come up here and visit but less people walk up here than they do to the overlook so I think I may have my snack up here worried about rattlesnakes. I've never seen one in here, but it doesn't mean there wouldn't be one. Dude, you're doing it again. I'm getting a photo of this. I'm not telling you to do it again. I'm just saying if you do it again. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> I trust him, but like I said, you so well jumping. Look at this. 
so we're only scratching the surface here. These rocks go on and on and on. I mean, they go... I'm not doing all that walking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab a snack. Snack time is pig bar and larva. Yeah. Now you've seen World's End and um, the rock garden. And we got in a little bit of dirt. I'm really surprised. I know Pennsylvania does a really good job with their, their state roads, their gravel roads, their fire roads, all that. They do really good. But a couple years ago, I came up here with my husband. And even the year before, I came up here by myself. And they had just, like, regraded the road. And it was horrible. I mean, it was, like, churned up rocks. And it was, it was raining. It was terrible. This time it is, as you can see, it is smooth packed gravel. Now, I only really planned for this far in my day. Now I got to get out my map and figure out how I want to go home. And home meaning my folks in New York. So I'm going to sort that out and then we'll jump back on the bike. And I don't know which direction I'm going, but we're going. I think I've decided on my route. Gotta kinda watch this road. It gets traveled pretty well. But, well, there's nobody in front of me. There shouldn't be because I'm at the only pull-off here. There's no other places cars could pull on. And you got this dune buggy like this coming up the hill. And a truck coming up the hill. And a car coming up the hill. And another truck coming up the hill. The reason why we ride right. Holy shit. Come on, people. See what I mean about traffic? That was fun. Dirt Pony's been a lot of fun so far. And this is barely qualifies. Because this is really nice and hard packed. <laughs> Dirt roads don't get any better than this. Just have to watch the turns. There could be people coming. See, just like that, here comes someone. Now we're gonna take a hard right to get back out of here. Otherwise, you're just going back up the hill. place that most all of my friends on their motorcycles like to go visit.
maybe I will stop in the general store while I'm here. Let's see what we got. So I popped into Big Mike's. This is kind of an institution. And the last time Neil and I came down here, all we did was get photos at the bridge. Didn't actually pop in. So he needs a sticker. So honestly, at this point in my journey, <laughs> I don't need the map to find my way home. I can easily find my way home, any number of routes. But, I may still use it, just depending on what I decide I'm doing. What little back roads I want to take. I usually stop at that gas station right there for gas. And so does every other motorcyclist <laughs> that's coming down from Binghamton. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is riding dirt pony with my friends And they're not here <laughs> I can't wait to get on the road again Oh yeah Normally I'm singing that with my buddies But they're not here So we just sing it by myself We're at the Marie Antoinette Overlook. And there's a lot of bushes, so you can't see very well, but here we go. You see all this farmland down here. You can see all that. This right here, this tells you what's going on. Then I'll read it to you. This is um, Asylum is the name of the town. It says, a settlement of French royalists who fled the French Revolution in 1793 was established in the valley directly below opposite this marker. It was laid out and settled under the direction of Viscount de Noailles, Noailles? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't speak French. And Marquis Antoine Omer Talon. It was hoped that Queen Marie Antoinette might here find safety among many distinguished visitors to this place where Louis-Philippe, Duke of Orléans, later King of France, Prince de Talleyrand, Duke de Montpensier, and the Duke de la Roquefort, Liancourt. Anyway, a little slice of French Revolutionary history right here. Got a little uh, place to stop, a little bar and restaurant. As you can see, a lot of motorcyclists, a lot of motor motorcyclists make this a, a stopping point. It's a little overgrown. I like coming down here a little bit earlier in the year when it's not so overgrown. Um, this is a, it's a very, there's a lot of beautiful rides in Pennsylvania to a lot of roads in Pennsylvania that are gorgeous to ride. And this makes for a wonderful little stop um, to eat and look at the view and hang out. 
All right, Dirt Pony's doing pretty darn good. I'm gonna gear back up and I will be headed to the farm next through some of my favorite backcountry roads. So how about that Marie Antoinette overlook? Beautiful, right? I think so. And I love World's End, as you've heard. I've been there several times before. Um, the second half of my day went great. Uh, as far as the gas situation goes, I think it really was a situation of getting some bad gas at at least one stop, if not more than one. Uh, I continued to top off my tank as I went, so I would dilute it, um, and it seemed to get better. So fingers crossed that it, it stays that way. Um, and I apologize. At the end of my trip, after I left you off at Marie Antoinette, I didn't do any more filming until I started getting really close to pulling up in my driveway. <laughs> I got stuck behind all kinds of construction equipment and big dump trucks and it was like, it was just a bad, bad scene. There was nothing for you to really see. So unfortunately you didn't get to see all the really cool roads in the southern tier of New York and northern PA. Um, so next time I should be showing you a little bit around the farm and maybe I'll get into a little bit of the return trip on the next video. It just depends on how much footage I've got and what I've got to work with, um, see how those videos shape up. But I appreciate you coming back and continuing to follow the journey. The shakedown's going great so far. Dirt Pony's handling awesome. And um, yeah, so just, you know, like and subscribe and share the videos and hit comments and you know all the fun usual youtubey stuff you're supposed to do out there so thanks again for watching stay tuned for more adventures with dirt ponies